Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73 back with the Double E Show. It's uh, Double E Show trucking on the road. And we're going to continue this drive. So I'm going to go escape and uh, we'll get back at it. So if you remember last week, uh, we had picked up a load of what I believe to be bread. And we were headed to go off to another town. Somewhere along the journey, I may or may not have missed a turn. And there's absolutely nowhere to turn around. Because now it wants me to drive on both sides of the highway. So I assume I missed something. Now, that being said, um, we're going to press on into the night. Hopefully, not... Uh, fall asleep driving in the game because I don't know what kind of uh, things it has set up for stuff like that uh, or whether it just penalizes you financially which we cannot afford um, but yeah so here we are we're back on the road here we're continuing our journey uh, in fact what I could do if I really wanted to is Pull off into one of these fuel stations. Right? Well, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit more. There it is, right there. Okay. That's where I want you. Okay, park brake is on. And. Okay, engine's off. So now I'm out of the truck. I want to come back over here to the fuel tank. There it is. All right. Pump gas. Okay. Didn't need much. That's fine. Let's look at our map. So, okay. So we're just up the road from where we need to go. Or, we're just up the road from where it wants me to turn around. I freaking knew it. Where did I miss my turn? Way back up here. Way back up here, I missed it. Okay. Um, and, and I'm going to assume there's no, like, uh, open barrier to get across the highway, huh? Nope. Nope. Okay. Park the brake off. Put her in gear. We're going to pull away. Yep. So, that answers that question, anyhow. And I uh, whipped right out. I would have been that guy we saw in last week's episode who pulled out, just sideswiped the minivan, just push it out of the way. Screw it, I'm going. Right on. I like the lighting effect of the nighttime. The moon looks great. The light through the trees looks great. If a little offset from the angle of the moon. But, tis what it is. So, I'm hauling bread down the highway. So I can get down to the end, make my turnaround. You're a jerk. You wait until they catch up to you, and then you speed up. Okay, that's all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. See? Look at that. Look. I'm catching up like wildfire, and then all of a sudden, he's got gas. 
What the heck was that launching off into the sky? Holy shnikes! Please don't hit the truck. Please don't hit the truck. Please don't hit the truck. Oh, okay, those are just reflections on my windshield. I was like, where are those particles coming from? I'm gonna take these two lanes. I need the space, apparently. <laughs> Anywho, all right. So that's pretty cool, though. The high beam. So my my headlights don't look bad. Their headlights look janky as all get out. supposed to take an exit or not, but we'll find out when we get up there. Nope, says I'm going straight on. Alright. I'll do straight on. that yellow van they're nothing but trouble yeah this one's going to be hard to sim I'm doing my best though I am doing my best and I, and I got gas back there because it just wasn't sure. It just seemed like I wasn't using enough gas. And then I, I really didn't use much gas. Oh, now I'm climbing a hill. Now I'm climbing a hill. Oh, yeah, it's making a big, big... Eh, 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 eh. This truck has no sack. Now I can only imagine, right? Trying to drive a, a tractor trailer in this game. the load. Dang it. Five percent load damage. And now we're going to make it all the way back up the highway. And 
try not to miss my exit this time around again. that way I get to the turnaround spot and I break the load man that's disappointing now why aren't you going faster we just we climbed up the hill to get this way I got to go uphill both ways what is this the 1940s and I'm my parent Picking up speed. Now we're picking up speed. 102 kilometers. That's 60 miles an hour, baby. Woo! Okay, gonna move over. They're gonna dock me some of that money. I just don't know how much they dock you. If it's percent, four percent. So like if it's a six thousand dollar payment and I do ten percent damage to the load. Do they take 600 out of it? You know what I mean? So we will find out, but we will do our level best not to cause any more damage to it. Right. Yeah. So between last week and this week, obviously I did not have a chance to take around the physics settings because I just recorded them back to back. Because uh, last week's episode was getting a little long in the tooth. And, uh,. To make sure that I, I made it more manageable. So we're back at it this time. Now we're, you know, coming up on what, 13 minutes in to the recording, and and uh, and I'm still just trying to get back to where I messed up, which was where I missed my exit. So there we go. go a little wide. Don't hit the guardrail. Don't overcorrect. Ugh, last thing I want to do is have this thing dump on its side. This guy, don't know why. He doesn't have a truck speed limit like I do. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did you see that? I sort of saw the car sideways across the lane. I couldn't go to my left to avoid it because of the the uh, truck that was bobtailing next to me. And then the guy in front of me just jammed on his brakes. At 80 kilometers an hour, he stopped on a dime. A dime. 
Yeah, physics in this game are garbage. If AI traffic drives on rails, which obviously they don't because they run into each other, but if they can start and stop on a dime and get up to speed in the speed of light, physics are garbage. I hate to be critical like that over something like that that just happened because accidents happen in real life, so they should possibly happen in the game. But stopping on a dime, the least it could have happened was he hit his brakes, gave me time to hit my brakes as he accidentally plowed through the car blocking the lane like I would have done if I hit my brakes. But no, soon as his lights went on red, he was stopped. He went from 80 kilometers an hour to zero in 0 0.001 milliseconds. That's garbage physics. Not happy with that at all. That's another 7%. I'm surprised it was a 7%. But now we're up to 12% uh, damage to the load. Wonderful, right? All that because the road lanes are too narrow for an actual vehicle of this size to maintain my road lane to my lane is near impossible. There's there's no room for error. But AI physics and look it's it looks like it's coming up on sunrise again almost. There's no way I could have missed my exit again here. You know what? Flashers. Park and brake. Map. Okay. So, why is it showing me traveling on both sides of the frickin' highway if I'm going back to here? Get rid of this other lane, please. Because that's confusing as all get out. All right, so we're going to Hanover apparently. Okay, flashers off, park and brake off, flashers off. But you see how it's showing that I'm supposed to be driving on both sides of the road? That's how I knew I missed my exit, or how I thought it was letting me know I missed my exit. But now that we're heading back in the right direction, that that left side green line should go away. It made me think I missed my exit again, probably back where the accident was, I assumed. Uh, but apparently not the case. No worries. We'll get there. Oh, there's so much broken about this game. trying to look at it in a positive light, really, really desperately trying to look at it in a positive light. The, I mean, see how much movement the steering wheel is making, right? Before it actually steers. I've got no dead zone set up, and I'm literally moving it uh, like quarter inch, eighth of an inch. hanging in both lanes because I don't know if I need this exit. I think I do, but I don't know. It'd be nice if it's going to make green as your the, 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 your travel lane that your icon shouldn't also be green. It should be something that contrasts in color. You know, like if you're going to make your travel line green make your icon to indicate you on the road make it red make it make it white um, make it purple but make it something that stands out against the green it's just little let's let's start nitpicking now that we uh, understand how the 
physics in the game work? That Hanover? No, it's Lotson. But it does look like I'm taking it. So I will stay in this lane. And I don't have a dead zone set up on my brakes, but I gotta push them almost halfway in in order for the brake to register. Let's see if I can avoid uh, damaging it going around this thing again. surface streets uh, I was going anyways I too busy trying to figure out whether I needed to go right or not right on So the shininess is worn off for me. There are definite issues with the game. There were little tiny things at first that I was like, need some polish, need some focus, need some attention. But then there are big glaring ones that let you know that the game is nowhere close to being worth anything more than four ninety nine. You know? I think Euro Truck Simulator, the original one, I think that was um, more polished on release than this is. 18 wheels of steel was more polished on release than this is. And now that I'm going slow, I'm getting force feedback. Okay. So here we are. Assuming I come around to the end here and back my truck in like I did in Rostock. Get around straight. Okay. I put my head out the window. Create documents, deliver bread, hand over. All right. Uh, 3,900 euros. 12% damage. Lost 468 euros. So I got 390 and mine. Okay, so my reputation went up 343.20. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, because you can load more than one thing on the truck at a time. But, I'm still getting used to this, so I'm not going to do that. 
Alright, now, if I look up there, right, and I go this, no, okay, alright, so, I don't know where I can, I need to be, uh, let's zoom in here, um, this is Hanover Truck Service is over here, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to get a job there. I want to, I want to go there. Okay. Yep, that's me. That's me. Yep, I want to go there. Um, okay, overview. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's, uh, delete all red emails. Yes. Uh, I read this one, right? Delete all red emails. Yes. There we go. Now it's gone. Okay. Now, let's, uh... Okay. So, I need to figure out how to set waypoints in this. Uh, that would be really helpful. If you know how to do that, put them in the comments down below. I will try to figure out how to do that on my own. If you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. Uh, yeah, and I will catch you next Wednesday when I attempt to do more with this game. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.